Hi, my name is Ryan Navarro and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. In this video, I'll be showing you some of the new features of SOLIDWORKS 2014, which are solar access studies and a new sunlight light source. So here we have a building with some solar panels on top, and we want to use a solar access study to help determine the best placement for these solar panels. The first thing I want to do is make sure I have real view graphics and shadows and shaded mode turned on so I can actually see any shadows that will be generated. Then I'll add a sunlight light source from my lights and cameras pull down. And I just need to input some parameters to define the sun. So I'll give it a north direction by selecting one of the edges of my model and reversing the direction. Then we'll define a location, either choosing from the built-in ones or specifying a longitude and latitude, and setting a time zone, date, and time of day. And already we can tell if I change this time of day that we can see some of the shadows that are going to be generated here. And we have some additional information about our sunlight source down here. So I'll click OK to place that, and let's get started creating a solar access study. To do that, I'll click into my motion study tab and click on the animation wizard. And if you have a sunlight source added to your model, you'll have the option to create a solar access study here. I'll click next, and we have two options for our solar access study. A fixed date variable time where the sun will rise and set throughout the day, and a fixed time variable date where we'll check a constant time every day and vary the date throughout the year to see how the sun moves throughout the seasons. In our case, we want to do a fixed date variable time and if you wanted to get really serious about positioning these solar panels, you'd probably want to check a variety of dates, including the winter solstice when there'll be the least sunlight in the year, and the summer solstice when there'd be the most. But I'm just going to use today's date and the default sunrise to sunset. And then we can adjust the duration of our study and also a start time or save out our sun information, positional information of our sunlight source to a CSV file. Let's get started creating the solar access study. And it's really a qualitative study, so we're going to be looking at areas where our solar panels are going to be in direct shadow. So when I play this back, we can see that we're casting shadows from this big box on top of this building over some of our solar panels. And that's a sign to us that we'll want to reposition those. So in order to reposition those, I'll just go back to my model. And I'll drag those around to get them out of the shadows of that box on top of the building. So I'm thinking I'll spread out some of these solar panels down here on the bottom of our model, and I'll spread out the remaining ones on top. Then if we want to check our solar access in this new configuration, I'll go back to my motion study tab and rerun that with these new solar panel positions. So now we can tell we've at least gotten those solar panels out of any direct shadows cast by this box on top of the building, and we should be receiving a lot more sunlight in this configuration than in our earlier one. So in summary, this video was just a quick demonstration of how to add a new type of light source in SOLIDWORKS 2014, which is sunlight and how to conduct a solar access study to get a qualitative understanding of how much sunlight will be reaching different areas of your models or projects. Thank you for watching this video, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel.